Now, when I wired the fan for the lights in the fan, right? Because, see, one switch is for the fan and one switch is for the lights, right? Right. Well, in order to do that, I have to know which wire goes to which switch, right? Right. <laughs> now, what told me that <laughs> was the schematic that went along with the fan, right? It said this light goes to this switch and this light goes to that switch and this is the color of the particular wire, right? <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Well, that's the problem, too. If you're an electrician and you don't know what it is, the piece of equipment you're supposed to work on even looks like. Right? Right. Now, if you're told to work on a heater or a water pump, right... And it's an electrical water pump, but you don't know what it looks like, right? And there's a bunch of equipment in the area, right? What's going to happen when you go down there? You're going to be confused and not know what you're actually working on, right? Right. I mean, you're going to go down there and try to figure it out the best you can. <laughs> Just like I did with the logic circuits, right? <laughs> See, I've never seen a logic circuit before. <laughs> I didn't see one really until after they did the job. <laughs> and then I saw one as well. Oh, finally, finally. <laughs> That's why I couldn't do the job, idiot. <laughs> I wasn't shown what a logic circuit even looked like or where they were even located. Right. Just... The area, right, I'm supposed to be working in. I know that part, right? But I still don't know what the piece of equipment even looks like if I've never seen a logic circuit before, idiot, right? You have to show me what one looks like so I know what I'm working on, dummy. <laughs> i never seen one before. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? Osmosis? Am I God that I can know what a logic circuit is when I've never seen one? No, <laughs> you gotta show me one step at a time. <laughs> First, you show me where they're located, <laughs> what one looks like, and then I can work on it and do the maintenance of it. <laughs> See, those two steps have to happen first, right? Or I might work on the phone jack thinking that's the logic circuit because I've never seen one before, right? <laughs> like I actually did, right? Like I told you about that job, right? I actually did right? on the ship trying to do the job on the ship, right? See, that's called someone not telling me what a logic circuit even was or showing me what one looks like, <laughs> which I can't discern through osmosis, right? Right? I'm not that omniscient of a human being yet. <laughs> Till I'm perfect with Jesus, I guess not, huh? Paul himself said, we see through a mirror darkly. And the one day we will know as we are known <laughs> by God, right? Not just by Satan, Christians. <laughs> There's two minds we're dealing with now. <laughs> one of the fallen angel Satan and one of Jesus who is still following God. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> It don't mean you're following God necessarily either, either, right? It could mean you're following Satan and don't want to admit it, right? That's the whole problem. You're only hearing half of what it said, right? It's like the other part ain't making sense to you, right? Because you done made up your mind prejudicially, right? And aren't hearing the other things also said about Jesus. Specifically, there's neither Jew nor Gentile, bond nor free, male and female, for you're all one in Christ Jesus. You're not getting that statement. Neither is the man independent of the woman or without the woman, nor the woman without or independent of the man in the Lord. Right. By one spirit, you are all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Gentile, bond or free. You're not getting that spirit. 
Both are made one by the body of Jesus Christ. Ephesians 2, 14 through 18. He slay in the enmity between us by his flesh, his body, right. to make us all one in God again. Right. Because he too sinned in Eden, Adam and Eve. Though Eve first, then Adam. Right. <laughs> Does it matter if both are told not to eat of the tree's fruit if they were both ate of the tree's fruit? No. <laughs> both ate of the tree's fruit. <laughs> and both were told not to. <laughs> right? <laughs> not one or the other either. <laughs> both did. Both did. Right. Last time I checked, right? <laughs> That is part of the story. Eve ate first in Adam. Right. <laughs> but Eve was also told more than Adam <laughs> by Adam himself, who was her mediator between God and herself. Right. Now, someone gave her a location for the tree. Someone didn't. Right. <laughs> someone told her not to eat of the tree in the middle of the garden. But wait a minute. Moses identified the tree in the middle of the garden as a tree of life. He didn't say you couldn't eat the tree of life. <laughs> he said, don't need the tree of life, good and evil. <laughs> Are you hearing the story fully? Not partially? The only tree actually named in the story is the fig tree for which they sewed their aprons upon. <laughs> to make their aprons up. Right. <laughs> to cover their nudity. <sighs> Which I keep pointing out, why do you make an apron if you eat something with your mouth? <laughs> to cover your nudity from your groin area. <laughs> they didn't make a bib or a napkin for their feet. <laughs> they made something to cover their genitals. <laughs> What does that tell you also about the story, about the fruit they ate of, whose body it was they ate it from, right? And what kind of fruit it was. <laughs> now, if I'm having sex with Satan, I'm going to make an apron to cover my nudity below the waist. <laughs> if I'm having sex with Satan. <laughs> if I'm just eating of a piece of fruit, I'm going to cover my mouth. You know, like the Japanese girls do. <laughs> and God catches me. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? What do you eat the cookie with? Your mouth, not your penis. You can't eat a cookie with your penis or your vagina. <laughs> but you can have sex with the fruit of the male's body, <laughs> which is the penis, <laughs> which has the seed in it. <laughs> That gets you pregnant or not <laughs> to produce a job or not. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what happens when you have sex with someone? You have sex or adultery. You're committing adultery if you're Adam and Eve. You're already married to each other. You already became one flesh in day two. Right. Then you're committing adultery. <laughs> With Satan himself in Eden, idiot. That's just the sin. <laughs> That's the logic of the evil they did. <laughs> it wasn't biting into a piece of fruit, idiot. <laughs> or you would cover your mouth anyway, if it was. <laughs> when you take the cookie, what's proof you're eating the cookie that comes on your mouth? <laughs> Whether you cover it or not. Hmm. <laughs> The child don't know the cookie crumbs are on his mouth <laughs> or her mouth when they're eating the cookie from the cookie jar. <laughs> but if you have sex, you're going to cover your genitals, <laughs> not your mouth. <laughs> if you're eating of an apple or a fruit tree. <laughs> are you hearing the whole story in Eden? It's a parable, idiot. It contains half truth, half lie. Because Adam lied and repented of it. <laughs> Moses tells you this. Job tells you this in chapter 31. 
verse 33. <laughs> and he lied and repented. He lied and repented. <laughs> Of what he did with Satan, too. <laughs> That's his sin. That's his sin. <laughs> he had sex with Satan and Eden. Then ate, after ate, eaten of his fruit of his body, right? with his butt sex for Adam, <laughs> he became ashamed. <laughs> he was naked, idiot. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> Why aren't they telling you this? They don't want to believe it. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to confess it for themselves to Adam and Eve. Right. They don't think they have to. <laughs> for some reason either. <laughs> like Adam didn't think he had to either. God, you idiot. <laughs> That's vanity. I <laughs> know it is. If you actually had sex with something and you didn't really eat of a fruit tree... That is a little different, ain't it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. He didn't admit that part. He lied and repented. He lied and repented. <laughs> That's what it means to lie and repent. <laughs> he didn't fully admit it. <laughs> and no matter how many times you don't admit it, you didn't admit it. Right. And then it can become a loophole, mm -hmm. which Satan can use to get you to sin with him at any time if you don't really want to understand the fruit you weren't to eat of was the fruit of his body, which was sex with him. Mm -hmm. With his penis going into your butt, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> which is the only whole Adam had. <laughs> Once Eve was made in her own body, you <laughs> And they became one flesh the day before, all right? Meaning he had sex with her first, dummy, too. <laughs> then the sex with Satan shamed him. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> and it was butt sex. It was butt sex. <laughs> you can't understand that, huh? <laughs> or you refuse to, as Adam refuses to admit it. <laughs> Guess who refused to admit what he did first, Adam? Adam. <laughs> then he blamed the serpent. <laughs> and the poor serpent is left holding the bag because it didn't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Can't even talk. <laughs> Can't even talk. <laughs> Why do you think they talk about Dr. Doolittle a lot? He can talk to animals. <laughs> Yet, yeah, really, no man can talk to animals. No man can really talk to animals. <laughs> but an angel with vocal cords might can talk to you, whether invisible or visible. <laughs> especially if visible, especially if visible. <laughs> Though some can talk to you from heaven. Right? Like, it's really the angel speaking the Balaam, idiot, not the donkey. <laughs> As if it's the donkey. <laughs> you don't get that, huh? Or don't want to, or don't want to, right? Stubborn is as stubborn does, by the way. Mm -hmm.